What's going on, YouTube? I welcome you to It's Wild Out Here, the channel bringing you the wildest stories from around the world. And today ain't no different. So hit that like and subscribe button because it's wild out here, and I'm going to tell you all about it. Today's story comes from California. Jury finds California mother was sane when she threw special needs infant son off the roof of hospital parking structure. A California jury on Monday decided that a mother who drove her special needs infant son to the top floor of a children's hospital parking structure and pushed him off of the building to his death was legally sane at the time she committed the crime. The same group of jurors who last month found 41-year-old Sonia Hermosillo guilty of intentionally murdering her 7-month-old son, Noe Medina Jr., a.k.a. Baby Noe, also found that she was able to understand the nature and morality of the crime act she committed over a decade ago. The sanity finding means that Hermosillo will face a sentence of 25 years to life to be served in prison instead of a mental health facility for first-degree murder and child assault causing death. Jurors over the last three weeks heard testimony from a series of mental health experts who claimed the La Habra mother was suffering from either postpartum psychosis or severe depression. On August 12, 2011, Hermosillo drove Noe Jr. to the Children's Hospital of Orange County, where the child received regular treatment for a congenital condition that left his neck twisted to one side. He was also undergoing treatment for flat head syndrome, which made it necessary for him to wear a protective helmet at all times. On that day, however, Hermosillo did not have an appointment to see any of the doctors at the hospital. Prosecutors said that Hermosillo parked her car on the fourth floor of the parking garage, unhooked the baby's medical helmet, and pushed him from the structure. A witness saw the child fall and immediately called 911. Hermosillo then walked inside the hospital, validated her parking, and drove away. The baby was rushed to University of California Irvine's Medical Center Traumas Unit in critical condition but died two days later. A few hours later, unaware of what happened to his child, Hermosillo's husband, Noe Medina Sr., called police to report his son and wife missing. He told police that his wife had been struggling with depression and was not allowed to be alone with the baby. Officers spotted Hermosillo driving past the hospital that evening and took her into custody. During the trial, prosecutors said that Hermosillo told police she was intentionally trying to kill her son and that she harbored hate, resentment, and anger towards him. No, I would rather he die, she said, when they asked if she hoped the child would recover from the four-story fall. She reportedly said she killed him because he's sick and added, that's why I don't love him. Hermosillo's attorney, Jacqueline Goodman, argued that her client's family knew Hermosillo needed more intensive medical care, saying she would often go catatonic and sometimes just wander off without explanation, but they had limited financial resources. She had also been placed on a psychiatric hold and hospitalized for several days prior to baby Noe's death. Something happened to her. Nothing could have forced her to stop loving that baby except psychosis, Goodman said during the sanity trial. When Noe Jr. was born, there was something that went wrong, and you'll hear it was chemical. Sonia had become severely mental, mentally ill. Goodman also argued that the family lacked health insurance and often couldn't afford to fill Hermosillo's prescription medications. Days would go by and she doesn't sleep, Goldman told the jurors. Her husband was tying ropes to her because she would leave and wander around the park. That's bipolar and mania. She was also depressed. Deputy District Attorney Mina Gerges reportedly told jurors that Hermosillo did have very severe depression, calling it sad and tragic, but said even severe depression is not legal insanity. So this is a wild story, y'all. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And like always, stay safe, stay aware. And before you leave, hit that like and subscribe button. And we'll see you next time on It's Wild Out Here.